Ah, uh, there's nothing quite like a nap in the meadows, surrounded by flowers and being watched by a creepy old Luma. Eh, actually, uh, Polari's not really creepy. He's very cute. Even for... Well, then again, I guess old people can, can be cute. But Polari, I mean, seriously. He's, an, he's supposed to be a really old... Luma, and he still looks just as cute, if not probably even cuter than regular Lumas, because just the fact that his eyes are blue and it's my favorite color, and I don't know, there's just something about Polari makes him look really cute, despite the fact that he's, you know, the oldest Lumas, oldest of Lumas, or one of the oldest Lumas, I don't know. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell if you didn't know, like, uh, by the way that, or... I don't even remember, like, how I found out that Polari was old, I just did, like, it just describes him as an elder... Uh, Luma, I guess. Okay. So, enough about, you know, complimenting Polari. We're going to go to Deep Dark Galaxy again in this episode. I have no idea what was up with me in that last episode. I had just been recording for seven or eight episodes in a row, and that's, I guess, that's what happens when I do that without taking a break. God, I'm so stupid. Okay, Bubble Blast off. Here we go. Uh. I got a weird shift coming up at work. My average, my regular shift at work is 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. because I'm a graveyard employee, but apparently tonight we have to come in at 8 o'clock because they're actually closing down the store for five hours. I work at a 24-hour Walmart, in case you're wondering. Anyways, uh, we need to... Uh, well, apparently the game... Th the, the developers of this game thought that this boss was just so amazing and he, he's kind of cool, I guess, that... They had to bring him back, just so you'd have to, just so he could block off the cannon that you need in order to progress further on to his mission. So yeah, you're forced to fight this guy at the beginning of this. And once again, I'm sorry for forgetting to change my battery here. I guess I'm just that lazy, jeez. Or then again, or I'm just like, what the dude? I'm not ready to go that far yet, come on. <laughs> okay. Apparently, he wants me to progress further on the mission, but I can't do that yet because I don't have the thing I need in order to progress further on. Okay. We're gonna need to stay ahead of him, I think. Okay. Here we go. Finally! I've had enough of your... Enough of your shit, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so get back in the cannon, because you're gonna need to do this once again. You're gonna need to light those torches again. And just for the hell of it, we'll get that rainbow star again, too. You know, so we're gonna hold my hand steady just so I can aim properly at it. There we go. The only reason I'm doing this is because, once again, you need to collect all the star bits you possibly can, because you're gonna need that for the very last Hungry Luma Galaxy. So, just saying. Okay. I'm actually really glad that these guys kind of actually bunch up together in order to try to, I guess, hurt you more. Well, actually, it's more like because they're, they're trying to home in on you, and that's basically just how it goes. So, get your Fire Flower, immediately fly back there, just like before. But this time, oh, you have a third torch. Yeah, that makes it a lot more difficult. The fact that you have a third torch to light here this time. Okay, so let's do this. Let's not have to make a second trip to that planet, please. Yep, there we go, okay. And you switch from fire to ice. Yes, we're going to be doing that this time. So get on your Ice Flower costume. And then now, if you want, to, you can still access the secret mission in this in this uh, in this uh, particular mission. We're not gonna do that because we already did that in the last episode, or not the last. Oh, did we do that in the last episode? I don't remember. What I do remember is that I had a lot of stupid, stupid trouble with it, and I'm also having stupid trouble doing this. Or apparently not. I just barely made it in time. Okay. Oh man. See, so, yeah, this guy's gonna try and uh, pull the dick move of knocking off the planet, but we just pulled the dick move of uh, getting him to walk off the planet. Hey, I just almost burned myself. Oh, God. Okay, Flood is actually what you need to... Yeah, Flood's... You're gonna need Flood's help in order to move on here. Yes, I'm gonna keep on calling those things Flood, and I'm not going to keep on pole dancing, because Mario's not into that right now. Oh, no, okay, we got evil Floods right here that shoot fire. Flood, why didn't you do this in Super Mario Sunshine when we actually needed you? This is when we don't need you. Or actually, yeah, we do need you, but not to shoot fire, we need you to shoot water. Not right there. Okay. So here we have all these uh, secret star bits, and I guess it's kind of cool that I'm doing this, uh, showing off this really... This is actually a really cool secret here, This what this leads to, and it leads to a whole bunch of star bits, that's why I'm making the effort to go for it. But especially since, uh, this is actually a 100 star, too, so... 
Guess I might as well do something special for that, too. And speaking of that... Super Mario World music! Yeah, nothing better than that. And I'm totally, I'm totally being honest here, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. Because I know sometimes I... Maybe when I do say something like that, I do kind of come off as kind of sarcastic. And also, this is probably the easiest uh, note to collect or note thing to keep up with. Uh, I mean, like I'm not showing it because because I wasn't being that fast that time. But uh, just I point that out. Now you don't want to destroy any of these brick blocks yet, but you do want to get that one up because the the less brick blocks you destroy, the more you'll get out of them. Right here. We got, let's see, I had 80 star bits come in here, didn't I? And now I have 131. Okay, so I had 81 star bits. You get 50 star bits if you do that properly. These guys do not give you star bits, so I'm going to ignore them. Instead, so we're going to progress further on in this mission. So that's what we need to do. Because we've done quite a bit of horsing around here. Oh, crap. Crap, you'll cut. Poo -poo. Ah, okay. Flood caught me anyways, even though I didn't need him there. Thank you anyways, Flood, but can you please uh, do that again? Just this once, right right here. Okay, sitting on top of this thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? What is this over here? I want to see. I want to see what's over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll just, that's all I want to do. Okay. Better idea. Let's do this. Okay, this this stuff that I'm doing right here is completely unnecessary. I just thought I point that out. Oh, God. That was way too close. The camera screw. Seriously, camera. Camera, stop. Stop that right now. You're not amusing me. I'm not amused. Why am I getting these coins? These are the most worthless coins ever, and I'm making the most effort to get to them. Why? Okay, I really freaking... Why is Mario doing that? Did you see what he's doing there? He's side... He's wall jumping to the side. That that totally defies physics. That's like a big... Big F you to physics right there. This is like... They didn't teach me this in in physics class, which I did not take, actually. I mean, they teach us a little bit about it in high school uh, science classes, but I can definitely tell you they didn't teach us about this. About how you can just defy like this in Mario Galaxy, apparently. Oh, all that for like, what, six star bits or so? Okay, fine. 151 star bits, that is not bad at all. And this leads to this question mark coin over here, which leads to five wasted potential slings sling stars that just propel you back over here. They didn't even make the effort to at least get, get you back to where the mission objective is actually headed. I did not make any sense with what I just said there. Okay, we've done a lot enough forcing around here, and I'm being honest this time. We really did. So let's actually get on with this mission, because it's taking me eight minutes to do this. Just one mission to get our 100 star, too, might add. Jeez. Part of the problem, once again, was with the camera earlier. Okay, so now, once you're on top of this fire, fireball uh, thing here, you need to, you're going to want to jump into Flood's bubbles here. There we go. And this leads us to this very small plant with the tiniest plants in the entire game, where you want to push in all these, all three of these stakes, or stumps, or whatever you, whatever you want to call them. Apparently, you take damage from tucking, touching cheap cheeps that are out of water, so they shouldn't be hurting you. They should be the ones getting hurt themselves. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Anyways, that activates another flood right here. And at the risk of dying! Oh, jeez. That is still really stupid that you can actually get hurt by these things, these guys of all things. Can I please, like, just jump on one and get a coin? No. You're gonna make that really difficult because of the fact that they're bouncing? Yeah, it is actually very difficult to get to these guys because they're bouncing! Wow! Can you just get me to the planet, please? Either way, we're probably gonna die here. Because we're under some very, very unfortunate... Oh, wait, no, okay, maybe not. I might be fine here after all. Wait, what? You can talk to that toad from over here? There's a power star hidden in that watermelon! Use ground pounds to make those tennis balls hit that watermelon to get the power star! Okay, so apparently if you didn't know what to do, you can get on top of that button there that you don't even re or that pedestal or whatever. And you can apparently talk to the toe from like 50 feet away and it tells he tells you what to do. Uh, unfortunately you can't do anything about the shockwave, so you have to dodge these while at the same time uh, hitting these uh, tennis balls 
Onto the watermelon! Great. Just great. Yeah, it's really... This is actually kind of difficult right here. This is another one of those times where I'm underestimating the Garden Dome and how difficult it can be, because it can be difficult. And I don't know why I just keep on, like... Because, I don't know, I just don't remember these missions being that bad, really. I never did. Okay. Just got just one more tennis ball here, and then we're in, we're good to go. Just gonna catch up this one. Just as well as I can catch up with the Bowser. Yes. All right. This is actually pretty... Okay, that wasn't even fair there, man. That was a cutscene. That was the cutscene. It got me there. Okay. There it is, y'all. 100 stars. After two and a half years. Yes, I'm going to keep referencing that. Because it's still ridiculous that I took this long to get this far. But yes. So that means we only have 20 stars left, y'all, and then we are done with the game. Well, kind of. We, I'll, I'll, we'll get in time when we get into that. Okay, 550. I just need a little... I just need a uh, 1,050 star bits, right? Because I need 1,600. So if my math is right, that's how many I need to get to be able to access the garden the garden dome, Hungry Luma, cause, which we're going want to want to do once we're done here. Oh! 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 Purple Comet Deep Dark Galaxy! Uh, I gotta be real honest, guys. I am... I completely forgot about this one. It's a pretty forgettable Purple Coin mission, but basically what you're doing is... You are... You don't really have that much space you have to run around in. You just need to run around basically the, the whole pirate ship and the water around in. That's pretty much where all the purple coins are, so it's not that bad. But this is a long purple coin mission. So they take you straight to where you fought Kamek in the first mission, and then they're pretty much all here. Yeah. You know what's really funny about Deep Dark uh, Galaxy is the fact that I honestly, whenever I think of this galaxy, I always forget the fact that it's a major galaxy. I, whenever I think Deep Dark Galaxy, I think of a minor galaxy. Yeah, I just don't know, man. I just don't know. I mean, like it's meant to be like a like a um, like a sister galaxy, sort of the Ghostly Galaxy. You know, because it's supposed to be like haunted, sort of. But it's just I don't know. It's just not as memorable as Ghostly Galaxy, mainly because of the fact that Boulder Guys is not in it boss who I very much am very very fond of. Okay, um, so I guess I should speed up and play music now because we've been going on going on for this long, so yeah. Okay, that took me about 10 minutes to do, and I think I would have done that in probably 
maybe not half the time, but almost half of that time, if it weren't for some problems I was having with the controls. First of all, I absolutely hate it whenever... I know this is like supposed to be like in line with physics or something, but this is a video game. Or, I mean, I, I guess, yeah, it's... I don't know. What I find irritating is that whenever characters fall from a great distance, or simply when you're trying to just jump out of the water and grab something, and then fall back into the water or something. I hate it whenever characters automatically go underwater when you're trying to stay above water. I mean, I guess this is sort of in line with physics because, like, you... If you fall from a great distance, you're going to be... Depending on how far you fall from, you're going to be submerged a certain amount of distance, but... That's one particular case where it's kind of annoying that the physics apply, but eh, I guess that's kind of a... Kind of a stu stupid complaint, all things considered. And, uh... Yeah, there were, like, some other th other weird things. Like, when I was trying to do a wall jump, like, there was that one purple coin on under the crow's nest to the right. That one I had a lot more trouble with than I should have, because you are able to wall jump off of that pole. But apparently I couldn't do that for the longest time. You know, it's just, like, all these minor things that were really annoying me. But other than that, yeah, it wasn't that bad, so... Anyways, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to finish off Deep Dark Galaxy. We just have the third third mission star and the regular Prankster Con, which I'm not going to give away until we get to it. So, see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.